everyone. Once upon a time, an American, a Japanese, and a Russian warship joined a division. We hope one of them isn't harboring a grudge. Nevertheless, today's story only begins as a comedy, but quickly escalates into a fully-fledged edge-of-the-seat thriller and ends like a fantasy novel. The map is Land of Fire, but the land isn't the only thing burning in this match. Our hero, 11 Paul 11, entered the battle on Moskva. His division mates are on Gearing and Yamato. It's a universal combination of a destroyer, cruiser, and battleship that offers a multitude of interesting tactical choices. We see an example of classic team interaction. The destroyer drops a smoke screen and spots enemies, while the cruiser hides in it and deals out damage. Sudden torpedoes play on their nerves, but the coolness with which our hero dodges them leaves a big impression. And voila, the first frag. Moskva has already scored 47,000 damage while staying invisible. But then, like a dream, like the morning mist, the smoke cleared away and the real fun started. Dodge some more torpedoes. Destroy Fiji together with Yamato and switch to Montana. She catches fire and we begin unloading her vast cargo of HP. The battleship's secondary armament sets Moskva on fire, but our hero is too cool to activate the repair party straight away. An excellent hit. Three citadels and 18,000 damage. And then Montana replied. Minus 44,500 HP. Now every hit point counts. Extinguish the fire and engage damage control party. A salvo, 13,000. We're burning again. Another salvo, three citadel hits. Montana now sleeps with the fishes. That's the second frag, but at what price? In an instant, our proud and beautiful cruiser became a burning wreck with a mere pittance of HP. Our hero begins capture, but enemy Amagi seems determined to finish what Montana started. With literally no HP left, any hit could be the last, so we start firing and quickly retreat. To make this moment even more unpleasant, our division mate succumbs to enemy torpedoes. We continue firing at the battleship until it gets behind an island. And as a farewell gift, we receive a painful hit from the Japanese. Only 380 HP left. While the enemies are out of sight, we need to return to capture. It's time to reflect on our miraculous escape, heal ourselves, and we're spotted. Our Magi reappears, and the damage control party isn't ready yet. The battleship fires, and our hero is still afloat. HP is being restored, but we have zero chance against the undamaged Amagi. At this point, we can only hope to go down in style. Minus 7,000 HP, another hit and we're done. As it should be in a good thriller, salvation came at the very last moment. The division mate covered our hero with smoke, but the battleship fires blindly and scores. Less than 2,000 HP left. Maneuver and focus our fire. Amagi dodges torpedoes but can't evade artillery shells. Our partner gets a frag, and our hero earns the high-caliber achievement. That's what I call cooperation. Let's repair and switch to Otago. Whoops! Our hero should have stayed in the smoke. The enemy cruiser instantly showed Moskva the extent of her mistake and claimed 8,000 hit points as payment for this lesson. Thanks for surviving. The grateful student immediately sent her teacher to the depths. Moskva already scored 216,000 damage, and it's eight versus five. It's almost too good to be true. A happy end is in sight. Of course, it would be ideal to recapture point B and score some more frags. Keep dreaming. It's five versus five now. Our division mate sinks North Carolina, but the enemy levels the score. Moskva made an unfortunate move and lost a good portion of her HP again. Hide and assist the allies. Gearing from our division sinks the aircraft carrier and receives the well-deserved Kraken. We have a good lead in points and with four minutes left to play, we simply need to survive. So it would be silly to engage the almost undamaged Izumo. With only 9,000 HP in store, it's wiser to leave. 
Enemy Dmitry Donskoy sank the last Allied battleship. The gap was reduced, but we're still in the lead. And then Moskva was detected by the battleship spotting aircraft. Just how are we supposed to survive until the end? And that Azuma seems determined to sink our hero. Retreat is not an option, because Donskoy will get us anyway. As we ran out of damage control party, all we can do now is engage the battleship and, at the very least, go down with honor. The first salvo, minus 13,000. And the return salvo robs our Moskva of all but 900 hit points. What luck. The battleship is reloading. We have time for three or four salvos. The first one, only 5,000 damage. The enemy's secondary armament leaves us with only 308 hit points. The second, 11,500. The third, almost 20,000. And the fourth finishes it. Incredible. But Donskoy is close by and there's no chance we can survive this encounter. But then the score reaches 1,000 and our hero's team wins. High caliber, support, dreadnought, 3,300 base XP and 306,000 damage. But most importantly, an excellent team effort, mutual assistance and 10 frags scored by the division. That's more valuable than any reward. If you agree with me, my friend, send me your replay.